Tesla certainly has big ambitions for its sleek all-electric vehicles, though these plans don't, or yet, include wireless chargers. But, come April, a group of engineers say they will launch a wireless charging pad that fits seamlessly into the Tesla Model 3, the electric vehicle company's first mass-market offering, and the vehicle the company's future is balanced upon. Tesla Wireless Pad is marketing their $99 product as something Tesla's chief designer, Franz von Holzhausen, forgot to include below the Model 3's touchscreen. The charging pad can be installed in three easy steps, which involves connecting a USB cable to the dashboard. The pad, according to its makers, will charge any key-enabled phone, key is the modern standard for charging phones using magnetic induction. Key-enabled phones include the likes of Apple's iPhone 8, 8 Plus, X and many of the latest Samsung Galaxy Note and Edge models. The company doesn't make any bold claims about super-fast wireless charging, noting it prefers to state that the Tesla wireless pad should charge your phone as fast as your average charger. It seems quite unlikely that the wireless charger will have a different or meaningful effect on the Model 3's driving range, up to 310 miles, more than any normal charging would. Nissan began general sales of the new Leaf in the UK on February 2, although the first was delivered on January 31, by presenting its latest EV on Electric Avenue in Brixton, the UK's first electrified shopping street. The crossroads of London's first electrified street and one of its most polluted, Electric Avenue in Brixton Road in Lambeth, is one of the most suitable places for EVs. London suffers serious problems with pollution and congestion, so step by step the city is making access more expensive to ICE. In the future, Electric Avenue will maybe expand to become an electric city. The fully electric vehicle, EV, which delivers zero emissions whilst driving, goes on sale in the same week that London's air pollution reached the annual legal limit for nitrogen dioxide, NO2 just 30 days into the year. Brixton Road in Lambeth broke the hourly air pollution limit 18 times during January. EU rules state that a single location in the UK can only break the limit 18 times in a year. Brixton's Electric Avenue, a landmark market street in South London, provided the perfect backdrop to capture the next generation of the best-selling Nissan EV. Constructed in the 1880s, Electric Avenue was the UK's first shopping street to be lit by electricity, revolutionary at a time when gas lamps were the norm. Fast forward to 2018 and London is taking a new focus on electrification. TfL and the Mayor of London are encouraging the use of electric vehicles to lower emissions and tackle London's polluted air. In 2017, Transport for London TfL, London Councils and the Greater London Authority GLA, announced almost £4.5 million in funding for the installation of electric vehicle charging infrastructure on London streets to support drivers wanting to switch to zero-emission vehicles. 10 Australian pounds toxicity charge or T-charge was also introduced in October 2017 in the congestion charge area for vehicles that failed to meet minimum Euro emission standards. Electric vehicles, such as the new Nissan LEAF, are exempt from both the daily T-charge and London congestion charge and will also be able to drive freely in the new ultra-low emission zone ULEZ when it comes into force in April 2019. Carl Bayless, EV Business Development Manager, Nissan Motor, GB, Limited said, We are delighted that the new Nissan LEAF is now on sale across the UK. Much more than just an EV, the LEAF is a whole new driving experience, designed to move people with greater exhilaration, confidence and connection to the world around them. Nissan looks forward to EVs playing an increasingly important role in the sustainable development of our urban infrastructure, not just improving air quality, but also in the storage, management and distribution of renewable energy. Subaru's 
started off the new year the right way, earning their best January sales ever. This accomplishment follows a successful 2017, a record-breaking year with more than 647,000 units sold. January 2018 brought Subaru 44,357 vehicle sales, with the Crosstrek and the Outback taking center stage. Both the Crosstrek and Outback earned their best January sales ever with 9,437 and 13,279 units sold, respectively. Subaru's president and COO Thomas J. Dahl said, Our retailers continue to understand that in today's competitive auto market, it is vitally important to convey to our customers the value that is inherent in all of our products and services. It is through the determination of our retailers that we continue to establish yearly month-over-month -month sales increases in such a competitive auto industry environment. Last month brought a year-over-year -year increase of 1.1%, compared to Subaru's 43,879 units sold January 2017. Four Subaru models saw increases in year-over-year -year sales, the Impreza, Outback, BRZ, and Crosstrek. The Crosstrek saw the most significant jump, a 45% increase from 6,507 units sold in January 2017 to 9,437 units sold in January 2018. Subaru's Senior Vice President of Sales Jeff Walters said, In January, the all-new Crosstrek again exceeded our expectations and delivered an outstanding result. Our portfolio of SUV models continues driving new customers to Subaru. The arrival later this year of the three-row 2019 Subaru Ascent SUV will be an exciting addition to our lineup. Subaru is also celebrating its 50th anniversary this year, with its official anniversary date on February 15, 2018. To commemorate the occasion, they will be featuring 50th Anniversary Edition models for each of their vehicles at the 2018 Chicago Auto Show. Tesla's new Model 3 will be showcased for the first time in Houston. Fans can check out the all-electric car in the Tesla Gallery on the first level of the Galleria near Banana Republic and Macy's. The local debut follows a well-attended one in Dallas, where customers formed lines out the door scope out the latest Tesla. The Model 3 is the culmination of Tesla founder Elon Musk's so-called master plan for the car maker, which started with a high-performance sports car followed by a luxury sedan and SUV and finally, an all-electric family vehicle designed for the masses. The five-seater can reach 60 mph in about 5 seconds and has a range of 220 miles on a single charge. Tesla estimates Model 3 owners would pay about $120 for electric supercharging on a trip from Los Angeles to New York. There's a ton of technology inside the car including a 15-inch center touchscreen with onboard maps and navigation, Wi-Fi and LTE internet connectivity, voice-activated controls and keyless entry and remote climate control with an app. It also has 15 cubic feet of front and rear truck space. The car costs $35,000 before incentives. The Tesla Model 3 Galleria display launched at 10 a.m. Friday and will be there for the foreseeable future. Visitors can also check out Tesla's solar panels and home battery system. Nissan has today officially launched the new model electric Leaf in the UK, with the pioneering zero-emission car going on sale for the first time. Made at Nissan's plant in Sunderland the new Leaf is priced from £21,990 on the road, including a £4,500 government grant. A higher-end Tecna model is priced at £29,155. The new model features a larger 40 kWh battery, an upgrade on the previous 30 kWh battery, that delivers a range of up to 177 miles. 
The company said the battery could deliver an 80% charge in between 40 and 60 minutes using fast charge points. The car also features a new e-pedal, which allows the driver to accelerate, slow down and stop using just one pedal, and a range of ProPilot technologies that allow the car to connect to buildings where it is charged, enabling emerging vehicle-to-grid V2G, systems. Nissan this week also unveiled plans for a world-first government-backed pilot project, which will see 1,000 smart charging points installed to trial the use of a V2G network. Carl Bayless, EV business development manager at Nissan said, We are delighted that the new Nissan LEAF is now on sale across the UK. Nissan looks forward to EVs playing an increasingly important role in the sustainable development of our urban infrastructure, not just improving air quality, but also in the storage, management and distribution of renewable energy. The company also announced that Lee Moran, a retired police officer from Hartlepool, had become the first UK customer for the new model LEAF. He said, I've driven many cars of all shapes and sizes, and many performance cars, but I can say hand on heart the LEAF is the best car I've ever driven. I've spent the last year singing the praises of the Nissan LEAF and now I have the new edition I cannot wait to get out and play, go on adventures and enjoy the drive. The launch comes just weeks after Nissan moved into the solar market with the unveiling of a new solar and storage offer designed to help EV owners charge their cars using renewable power.